guys, it's Wendy with Fab Crafts and More, and today I am going to show you three simple knots to help you create your own macrame plant hanger. Today I am coming to you from inside my closet, but this is the only view you're going to see of that said closet. Give a big shout out to all my subscribers and a huge thank you. Uh, my channel recently hit 10,000 subscribers and that's all because of you guys. So welcome back if you are a current subscriber and welcome to those of you that are new. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I am very grateful for all of you that come and watch my videos and please hit the bell notification too so you can see when we are making more fab crafts and more. The three knots I'm going to teach you today are the gathering knot which is not necessarily a knot, but it's how you bring um, your cording together here. We're gonna learn the square knot, which is pretty much the most basic macrame knot to make any macrame hanger or art project that you need. And then we are also going to learn how to do the spiral knot, which is super easy. It's just one half of the square knot. And you can see that a combination of these knots will create a really cute plant hanger. This is a hanger that I purchased about a year and a half ago at Joann's, and you can see it uses only those two basic knots, the square knot and the spiral knot, and also the gathering knot to create even the top of the hanger. So if you don't have a metal loop, you can create your own hanger with just your macrame cord and the gathering knot. The gathering knot is also usually what is used at the bottom to create your tassel and finish off your project. The supplies you will need are some macrame cord. I'm using this three strand, it's three millimeter, uh, Cerico 100% cotton. So I'm literally filming this inside my closet and the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to show you that you don't really need anything too fancy to hold your cording while you're doing this. I'm just going to do this using one of those over the door hooks. You can also use a doorknob or any other handle or knob. I've done this in my kitchen, on my uh, the handles to my kitchen cupboards, so you don't need anything super fancy. So th the first thing I'm gonna show you is the gathering knot, and that is how you can create this little guy right here up at the top to create where you will hang it and also finish it off at the bottom. You can also use it to create the um, loop where you would hang it. To create the wrapping knot, what you're going to do is you just need a length of cording and the length of this is going to depend on how long you want that to wrap. So um, what you can do is you can measure around how long this is like so. And so, you know, you've got maybe an inch and a half to two inches, and then you would want to measure, um, you know, like how far you want that to go down. So let's say, you know, you wanted 20 wraparounds, then you would just um, measure out how much you would want. So I'm just going to do a short one here. So I took maybe about um, 18 inches of cording. First, you want to take your length of cord that you cut and you need to make a loop. So you're going to make a loop like so and the loop needs to be longer than the length that you want your wrapping knot to be. Okay so because you need this little tail to stick up out of the top of the knot and you need a bit of the loop to stick below the knot. All right so what you do is you grab your cord wherever you want it to be, you place your loop and let your little tail stick up like so, and then you just start wrapping. So I'm going to just take this and I'm holding this and pinching it together nice and tight. I'm pulling tight on this wrap and I'm just going right under, very neatly wrapping underneath to where it's going right up against the last wrap 
and you just keep doing that until you have it as long as you want. And you wanna make sure that your little tail is up here and your loop is down here and you can still see that all the way to the end. And then when you've gotten down here, you just place your tail through the loop and then you just start pulling. And sometimes you, if you've gotten this really super tight, um, you'll have to pull a little tight, but you just keep pulling and pulling this tail up into the knot as far as you want it to go. And you can feel um, where it where it's at underneath there, okay? So once you've got it pulled up, and you don't really wanna pull it all the way through, you can, but you wanna hide that part in there. And you can kind of mold it a little bit with your fingers and get it where you want it, slide these around. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take scissors and you're going to trim right up against the edge there. And then you won't see any of those edges and you have this nice wrap. So you can make this as long or as short as you want it to be in any part of your project. So maybe you're doing a double planter and you want to have it uh, wrapped at the top where you're going to hang it or, um, you know, wrapped in between somewhere. So this gathering knot can be used in several spots in your project. Okay, kids, so I'm literally on the floor in my closet and this is attached to the doorknob. <laughs> but hey, so it just goes to show you that you really don't need anything fancy for some of these um, macrame projects. But we're now gonna go over how to tie a square knot. This is the most basic knot in macrame. Okay, I'm gonna scoot my camera over just a little bit and try not to bump it as I am tying here. Um, with this hand or my elbow. So just for the sake of ease and always starting on the same side, we're going to start on the right side. Now a square knot requires, for macrame, requires four strings. You have a right string, a left string, and two middle strings, okay? So how we're going to start this is, let me get sort of untangled here, is we are going to take the right string. We want to um, you want to sort of separate your um, cords here so that you have your right and left and middle ones. And so what you do is you take your right string and you sort of make, see how it's kind of like the number four, sort of. You're going to bring that string over the front of the two middle strings. Then you have your left string. And what you want to do with that is bring it over the top of your right string. Okay, then you take that left string up behind the two middle strings and up and through, coming forward through that loop that was created with the right string. Now, sometimes you may need to pull taut on your middle strings just to keep them from bunching up. So you pull your two strings and kind of keep that, those two middle strings down and just pull up like that. That is the first half of your square knot. So square knot, you go right to left and then left to right. So now we're gonna do the same thing in the opposite direction. We're gonna bring this left string and go over the front of the two middle strings. You're going to take the right string, bring it over the top in front of the left string, and then bring that right string up behind the two middle strings and pull it through the loop. Then you will pull it tight. Now, you don't wanna pull super, super tight. You want it tight and snug, but you don't want it so tight that it's just super tiny, okay? But if you don't pull it tight enough, if you're using this as a plant hanger or something that's going to hold weight, if it isn't tight enough, it will eventually sort of stretch out as you place weight into it. So snug, tight and snug, but not too, too tight. So that is our full square knot. We went right to left, left to right, and now we have this knot right here. You can see it has these two little pieces that go horizontal, this little guy that goes vertical, and I'll show you how that's helpful in a few minutes. And then here is that last string that we worked with coming out over the top. So now we're going to do it again, bringing the right string 
over and in front of the two middle strings. The left string then comes forward over the top of the right string, and then you bring that up behind the two middle strings and pull it forward through the loop and then bring it up and tighten it. You wanna make sure that you're keeping these two, you don't want them to be twisting and crossing over or it'll create, um, it'll bunch up in your knot. So we just went right to left. Now we're going to go left to right. Cross it over those two middle strings, bring the right string over the top and in front of the left string, then bring it up behind the two middle strings and pull it through the loop and then tighten. And there you have it. You have two square knots right here now. I'm gonna do it one more time, right over the front, left comes up and behind the two strings. And then we'll go ahead and pull that. Do the same thing with the left. As you get used to this, you can start going a little faster, but you still want to take your time and be careful. So you want to be using the same sort of tightness on all your knots so that you don't have some that get super tiny, some that are super loose, okay? So you really wanna sort of watch how much you're tightening. Now, if you're doing a project and you need to take a break for some reason and you're working on a square knot, and you don't remember which side you started on. Where you see these little pieces of the cording that go vertical, so you have your little horizontal ones, the vertical one is where you want to start your next knot. So you can see here's that vertical piece of string, but then you have this little guy popping up right there, and here on this side, you've got that vertical part. This is where you want to start again if you had to walk away or stop. So we're going from the right, bring the left over the top and up through the back like so, and then left, bringing the right over, behind and through and tightening there. So there you go. And sometimes you may have to work with your cording a little bit, but that is the basic square knot. Super, super easy, okay? This, like I said, is probably the most basic knot in macrame. Um, if you used to make friendship bracelets back in the 80s and 90s, you should be familiar with these or it may be bringing back memories. I'm gonna do it one more time for you. I'm gonna bring this right piece over the front of the middle two strings. The left is going to come in front of the right and up through the loop, back behind those two middle strings, and then pull. Then you go from the left, bringing the right string over the top, up and behind, and pull it through. And there you go. Basic, simple square knot. Okay, so now we've covered the square knot and I'm just gonna continue. I've moved my camera back and down a little bit and I'm just gonna continue to show you how to do the spiral knot. So here is a finished um, hanger and you can see there's the gathering knot. This one I used a loop and um, these are all square knots. I think I went down like about 20 and then it goes right into this spiral, which is, you've already just learned how to do it. It's just a little bit different, but super, super easy. So where you go from here is you've ended your square knot section. Spiral knot, you can start with a spiral knot too. Um, so basically you still have just your four strands and instead of going right to left, left to right, you just continue to um, go from the right and that will make the spiral, super easy. So we're just gonna go right over the middle two strings, left comes over the top and up and through. Tighten just like you normally would 
and then continue to do coming from the right just as you did on the square knots. And as I complete this, you will start to see how it will spiral. And where I'm just gonna keep going the same way. I'll slow down here for a second. Again, it's just right string goes over those two middle strings, left string comes over the front of the right string. You bring it up behind the two middle strings and pull it through the loop. And you can already see how it is starting to spiral. So we're just gonna continue doing that. Sometimes you may need to pull your uh, middle strings taut just like so. And you just continue that for as long as you want to have your spiral. So we're just gonna continue for a few more here just so you can see how it continues to spiral. And you just keep going that direction. And again, you don't want to be pulling too tight and you also want to be um, using the same tightness, I guess, for lack of a better word, um, as you go around, okay? Because you don't want to have a spot that's, you know, like a super skinny weird spot in the middle of all of that. So just like that. All right. So there you have now learned how to create, let me take this off the doorknob, to create the gathering knot, square knot, which is flat, and then the spiral knot. These are, you can make tons of different types of planters or macrame projects with these three simple knots. Thanks for joining me guys, and I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, a big like, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a video soon on how to make a full planter. Thanks guys.